All of those projects started because of Arduino. It was Arduino Leonardo that my parents bought me probably seven years ago, maybe six years ago, something like this. So because of Arduino board, because of Arduino Leonardo, I'm doing what I'm doing and I'm really thankful for that. So when Arduino reached out to me and they asked if I want to try out their new product, their new thing, the Opla IoT kit, I instantly said yes because it's cool. Actually, I made my first IoT project IoT means Internet of Things, if you are not familiar, a few years ago, and it was actually the first big instructable that I've ever made. It was a smart home with Arduino and Android, so I also made an Android app. The Android app was working kind of fine, uh, but the rest of the system, especially the Ethernet module, wasn't really working as great as I would like it to. All right, but that's enough for the talking. Let's actually grab the kit, let's see what's inside it, and let's start making stuff. So here is what you can find in the box. We have a really nice transparent case. We have the main thing, or maybe the Arduino is actually the main thing because this is just a shield. So as you know, uh, shields for Arduino Uno, this is a very similar thing. So you connect the Arduino MKR 1010 or 1010 uh, with Wi-Fi to this shield, like so. We have the movement sensor, also called PIR sensor, and you can create, for example, an alarm with that and we have a capacitive soil moisture sensor. I even wasn't aware that there is something like a capacitive version of soil moisture sensor. Uh, it's cool because actually I heard that those resistive uh, soil sensors are actually not that great because the pads that are exposed in here after some time just break and it doesn't work. So the capacitive version should be more durable. And headers in the back are exposed, so whatever you want to connect in here, you can. You are not limited to only those two sensors and those sensors that are on this board. So now I will take all of that home and I will try to create something awesome. After playing with the Opla kit for a few days, I have to say I am really amazed not only with the kit itself, but actually with the whole ecosystem of online tools from Arduino. So to start from the beginning, my first thought was to open Arduino IDE, start programming, and I ran through a few simple like projects, not really projects, just things that I wanted to try out. I tried to use the display, the temperature sensor, and everything was working fine. But then I read about Arduino Cloud and that you can program actually the Opla and an Arduino through the web browser, which sounds pretty interesting. And there's also all the cloud possibilities connected to that. So I decided to try that. If you want to program your Arduino through the web browser, you have to install Arduino Create Agent. This is basically a plugin that lets communicate between web browser and the Arduino. If you have any problems with this plugin, most likely it is caused by Adblock. At least that was the case for me. After disabling the Adblock for the Arduino, everything was working totally fine. So after that, I was able to program the Arduino through the web browser. And this is a really cool feature because if you are working on multiple computers, you can easily just keep all of your sketches in one place in the cloud and you have access to them, to the updated version on every computer, which is pretty cool. Then you can add your thing, your device, uh, variables, stuff like this, everything that is connected to cloud. Uh, most of the code is auto-generated, but here is something that I want to point out because that's a really cool thing. Usually I'm really worried about such simple to use, closed solutions, because usually you can't really do a lot with that. You are very limited. Fortunately, that's not the case for the Opla kit. Even though the code is auto-generated, you are not limited to only what was generated. You can actually modify this code, add whatever you want. You still have access to the loop and setup. You can add different libraries for different sensors, for different displays, for different output devices. Whatever you want, you can do. Just the networking part is simplified, which is really cool because usually that's quite hard to do properly. So 
So after the code is uploaded to the Arduino, it will actually start sending all the data to the cloud. So now let's talk about how to display this data from the cloud. And once again, it is amazingly simple how you can display the data in the Arduino cloud. Actually, when I was working on the smart home project a few years ago, I was dreaming about such solution, about simple dashboard to display all the data without worrying about the layout, about proper handling of everything. And they did that. Basically, Arduino made a super clean, super easy to use dashboard. You can add whatever you want here. You can add plots, you can add displays of the variables, you can add sliders, you can add even like input messages where you can type stuff. This is really amazing and it is super simple to use. You can just add your thing, drag and drop it. You can link it to the variable and it will start displaying whatever you want. All right, so I just wanted to explain a bit how everything works and just a bit how I set that up. There is really a lot to talk about and like covering all of that in depth really does not make sense because Arduino tutorials are really great and you can find all of that on their websites. So now it's time to talk about the project that I made with the Opla kit. I wanted to make a simple weather station. It's not really a weather station, just few sensors that I thought would be funny to add. So the first thing is DS18B12 temperature sensor. I wanted to measure the temperature outside of the building and putting the Opla kit outside of the building is probably not a good idea because it's not waterproof, but I have a perfect temperature sensor that is especially close and waterproof you can like throw it out the window and that's not a problem at the same time this is a great opportunity to show you that you can actually connect any kind of sensor you want to the opla kit so you are not limited to only what you can find in the box so i soldered a small pull up resistor to this temperature sensor because you need that to get it working and then with the movement sensor cable i connected that to the opla uh, to the a6 port then moisture sensor that I used to monitor my plant was connected to the A5 port and I also decided to add uh, the possibility to control through the web of course the RGB LEDs on the Opla which are by the way super cool and really bright uh, so well in an hour I was able to get the whole project working I wrote a very simple sketch for that and I prepared the dashboard to control and display all the values and here is how it works So after a few days, I got a little bit of data of the temperature. As you can see, the plot looks really odd. And that's because it's winter in Poland right now. And sometimes when there is sun directly shining on my temperature sensor, it gives a really high readings like 20, few or even 30 degrees, even it's usually like zero or minus two sometimes in Poland right now. Uh, but it works great and like I don't have to worry about it. It wor It's working without any problems for the last uh, I think three or maybe even four days. Uh, I powered it with the power bank, but you can also use the 18650 battery. I unfortunately am not able to make a project that I would really like to make with the Opla kit and that is smart greenhouse project. I also don't have a space for such a project as for now. Uh, so maybe in the future I will make it because all the sensors and all the devices that you need are already on the Opla. So that would be quite easy to implement for a small greenhouse. I hope you enjoyed this video, I really enjoyed playing with IoT again after a few years. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave that in the comments and check out the links in the description. I really appreciate you watching, so thanks for watching, happy making, bye!